Northern Ireland is really an idea that started about 10 years ago. And that idea was to work with NGOs, with non-government organisations, to try and work with their aims and Northern Ireland Water's aims to improve drinking water catchment areas right across Northern Ireland. There are a wide range of issues with water quality, so there are a wide range of projects involved. Uh, our biggest issue at the moment probably is the pesticide issue, the herbicide MCPA, which farmers use to kill the rushes on their farms, is causing a big problem in water treatment. So we have been working with the farmers through the Water Catchment Partnership, working with a wide range of stakeholders there doing farm engagement to help the farmers to improve their practices. Since the project has started in April 2017, we've had 40 farmers have signed up and we've treated 450 acres of rush infestations and prevented 600 litres of MCPA being applied onto the Sagahan drinking water catchment. Feedback from the farmers has been very positive and we've been working together to manage the farmers' rushes and also to improve their grassland production. MCPA is a selective broadleaf herbicide. It's used extensively in Northern Ireland for weed control. So water samples are taken at uh, raw water inlets, the water feeding the treatment works in a vial like this, and also at the final water distribution point. Uh, the samples are then stabilised and sent off to a UCAS accredited laboratory where they're analysed on an LCMS instrument and then with that will pick up uh, if MCPA is in the water and the relevant people are then informed. The trial has been a great success. It's great to see that the levels of MCPA is coming down in the reservoirs and also dealing with the weed infestation at the same time. I'd have to say it's a win-win situation for everybody here. We've also been doing a range of projects on riparian fencing, which stops cattle and livestock from getting into water courses and excreting in the water and causing erosion issues and nutrient issues in, in the water courses. We've been doing invasive species projects um, to eradicate uh, invasive species on our land holdings. We've been working collaboratively with Irish Water as well on our cross-border catchments. Another two key projects that we have been involved in is the peat restoration project which we have done where we restore the peat, the large gullies that were cut through the peat in the 60s and 70s which have caused a lot of erosion and damaged the peat. We have blocked those gullies and blocked those drains to raise the water table in the peat which brings back habitat and helps the environment and helps wildlife but it also helps our water quality by naturally filtering it through the, the peat dams and we end up with a better water quality product. We've received funding from the EU Interreg programme through the Cooperating Across Borders with Biodiversity project and we're working with our partners from the Republic of Ireland and Scotland to bring in contractors here to block the drains and restore the hydrology of the bog. This will have a great benefit providing good quality raw water to the reservoir behind us. And then there's all the work going on in the Mourne Mountains where we've done a lot of habitat improvements, environmental improvements to stop erosion from getting into the water and to improve pathways as well as the wildfire work we've done there, working with Mourne Heritage Trust to re reduce their wildfire risk in the mountains. So the more dirt that's in the water, the more contaminants, that's herbicides, pesticides, chemicals, the more difficult it is for us to treat the water. So if we can educate farmers, landowners, and even members of the public about good practice on the catchment, what to do, what not to do in their catchment, then it can be beneficial for us. Because if the water quality coming into the plant is good, then it means that we use less chemicals, we use less power, less energy, and it's easier for us to treat the water.